guy behind me. How pretty is it? Look at that. It's not even light. And I'm at the house. This camera's so good. Oh my god, I love it. So I'm off to London very early. I normally get like the early train that I'm used to. Oh, I've just missed it actually. Just because sometimes I like to take content before work. I'm mad, but I'd rather not do it on my days off. I'd rather have days off to like chill and stuff. Well, hopefully I'll get some really good content for you guys today. Obviously, where the clothes don't come in the shops. Yeah, obviously I don't want to give it away what's going in the shops and stuff like that. I will talk you through what I do and obviously give you as much content as I can. We have lights and you guys are absolutely gonna judge me <laughs> but I don't like coffee well I started getting into iced coffee in the summer I think iced coffee in the winter but I actually prefer Costa coffee to Starbucks sorry this is really I've got my arm on my arm on my back my bag on my arm it's really heavy and I'm trying to hold this up got a bacon roll on me and and so I'll see you in a sec because it's really hard holding this up Sorry, don't want my bacon roll to look cold for me in it now. Alright, it's gonna be for a long day. For example, I'll get changed my honey on. Come out. So I'm wearing this jumper. There will be buyers in here. Buyers are the ones that actually buy the product. And you have designers in here. So the designers are obviously the ones that design it from like a proto. So say this is the first time they've seen the product on. And then you have the techs, which are the ones that do all the measuring, come up close to me, see what I feel, and think of the garment and stuff like that. And the designers are in here to make any style changes that they want to make that maybe hasn't worked, worked on their design, but hasn't worked actually in person. Or like the first proto isn't normally made up in the right fabric sometimes the right quality, they have to change the weight of it. So it's basically a design tent. And then the buyers are there just to make sure that obviously we all keep it in like the margins and make sure that it's not too expensive for like, what they're doing to it. So for instance, I'm like this, I have to do this. It was like, can you put your arms out? And I'll be like, oh, it feels a bit too long in the armhole. And they'll be like, how much? I'm like, oh, roughly, I don't know, I'm taking up probably about one centimetre. They'll look at it, and they'll look at the spec and see how much they can take up and all that jazz. But I'll get into it. I'm about to start in a minute, but I'll get into it more, hopefully, as we go on the day. I tell ya, but a full day, quarter past nine to quarter past five. So it's knackering. You don't realise like how knackering it is changing in that COVID all day. It's fun, it is really fun, but it's really tiring. And there's like a row when you see the row when you come in you're like oh we've got to fit all that today you're gonna laugh <laughs> i can't find my charger and um so i had to but bring my whole extension lead with me <laughs> and my charger lead because i can't find the plug and they haven't got like usb things here so i've had to bring my whole extension lead in my bag today really cool one though is i do recommend it it's like a little cube it's like a travel size one so if you're traveling that i definitely recommend it for us because no one's coming yet um you also have a baa which is a buying assistant admin so i don't know i normally have a heater in here and someone's taking it and i'm freezing so i'm gonna ask to get that back and i need that obviously changing it out of the day but well, as i was saying you normally have a baa in here which i find this very old school i don't know if i just said but they type up the comments. The armhole needs taken up by like one centimetres or the tech will say, okay, reduce the armhole by one. She will say that and then the buyer's admin assistant will type on the computer all the comments that we've made. So like, I maybe say like, oh, the neck just feels a little bit further away from my chin. I don't know if it's meant to be like that because obviously the first proto, you don't know if things are meant to be the way they are. So I always say what I feel and I'm like the neck just feels too far away. I'm not sure if it's meant to be like that, if it was designed like that, but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel comfortable. So you make, and then the designer goes, right, okay, we'll do this. So obviously as a customer, you want to feel like obviously the best you can in the garment. But yeah, they will literally type up the comments very, very fast, speedy typing. 
and then the after the fitting session the comments will then go to the tech who talked about it in fittings they will like sort of do it, do the comments properly and then send it off to the supplier for fits so we normally i think they normally do probably about they do first fit which is proto second fit and then they try and go on third fit they try and go to like post production which is should be in the right fabric the right quality and stuff like that so it's not until it gets to like pre-production is when it's in like the right fabric the right colors and stuff like that so suppliers just make um stuff up in the first fit and second fit in like available fabric uh sometimes it might be the same fabric um, as what they're doing but majority of the time not uh, so yes and then post-production comes and that's when sometimes there is issues because then the supplier do, does not talk to the client and be like oh this fabric's not available anymore so they just like oh we've only got this available fabric and then like they're like no we asked for this fabric so that again sometimes they have to substitute fabrics so when we're fitting it we're fitting it as like it should fit and then it gets post-production and the fabric's completely different to the proto like obviously the proto's like not in the right fabric sometimes but it's close it should be close enough to pretty similar kind of thing so yeah that's and they might have to roll with the fabric that supplier's got okay i shot myself on foot there a little bit because as soon as i sat down it's now what 20 past three we've literally been fitting non-stop today it's been very manic not had really a proper lunch quickly get my lunch while they was on a call to a supplier um so yeah, it's been very hectic they're just finding out if i can leave early or not because yeah it's been a lot today i feel tired it's go home early yay like, i literally let me just go um i literally got so busy i literally i've not really oh, let me just let me told you i'm picking up my slippers from asda so yeah it's been it's been a manic day and yeah i will chat to you more in a sec. Hopefully, I think it's raining outside. I don't know if this camera is waterproof or not. I've got an umbrella. But yeah, I've just come out. Um, it's been a busy, busy day. I'm gonna quickly film because I don't have this waterproof and I don't want to damage it. It's absolutely soaked then. But yeah, as I was trying to say, it's a really busy day. Obviously, they've got a chain in terms of like, obviously the brand you buy from works with the supplier and then the supplier works for the factory. And the most of the factories are out in like, India, China, Bangladesh and stuff like that and obviously sometimes there is like language barriers and sometimes the comments um, they don't understand the comments and stuff like that so sometimes like when the fits come back they're not always great some are, some are not and sometimes you have to bless them the brand has to repeat the comments quite a lot it has to be the case but they, <laughs> the factory really never really very very rarely says there's an issue to try and sneak one so I'm just getting my ticket out my ticket I don't have a ticket I am um, so I should be wearing a mask but I'm trying to talk to you guys as well but yeah so that's when some issues can occur and obviously some people <laughs> on them in some suppliers just like to start production without in the comments and stuff like that so again that's another reason why sometimes some fits are not as they should be because of some suppliers well some factory suppliers just like to go ahead just do it hi guys sorry i didn't really end so getting used to this vlogging vlogging life i'm just feeling very exhausted this week wash my hair because so greasy obviously if you've seen on the videos like ridiculous i hope you have enjoyed it i have got a cold again and, yeah, and i will see you next video um i think next video i want to talk about sort of like the terminology big word for me uh, the terminology that we use in fittings so you can understand what we talk about and like how things should fit you um so yeah See you soon, guys.